Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, thanks for joining me again. Uh, it's been a while since I did this, uh, but uh, if you're tuning in, uh, thanks for joining me and uh, I hope everything's okay with you and that you and your family are staying safe. And uh, sorry if I sound a little bit drastic today. Uh, it's just, uh, this is, uh, it's been a while. Yeah. So anyway, today we are looking at a tutorial for creating these sort of percentile rank charts. Okay, uh, so this is something very basic. Okay, and I haven't dabbled with a lot of metrics here. Uh, the important thing here for you to uh, do is to understand the method and how I've uh, come to this from this. Okay, so before I get started, I'd like to give a shout out to Adam who helped me initially uh, with, with the method of this. So if you are a big Rangers fan or if you want to learn more about Rangers and are just interested in Scottish football, you should definitely follow him. He's, he's definitely worth the follow. Right, so without further ado, let's uh, let's get stuck into the creation of this percentile rank dashboard. Okay, so the data that I have here is uh, the same data set that I used to create the small viz of nutmegs that I did earlier this today. And uh, what we'll be trying to do is picking uh, a handful of metrics from this uh, from this list here, and then try to calculate the percentile ranks for them. And then see how that goes okay so before uh, we do all of that what i would recommend you to do uh, is because this part gets tedious later is to just remove all of the unnecessary fields okay or uh, that you will not be calculating percentile uh, ranks for okay so stuff like um, i don't know age because yeah you don't need that uh, uh, then stuff like distance covered by carries or wh whatever it is that you want to remove you can remove okay so yeah after that what you do is uh, the first thing that you do is create a rank filter okay so uh, we use a window calculation here okay and uh, you'll essentially understand uh, what these expressions and these functions do when you look at the definitions here on the right okay so i won't get too much into that because uh, well, you know, um, I don't want to make it too theoretical, but yeah, uh, what you need to do here is to introduce the player feed. Okay, so we introduce player name as an attribute. Okay, so Tableau tells us this calculation is valid, so that's good. Okay, and now what we do is we create uh, the calculation itself for the percentile rank. Okay, so let me just create a couple of uh, feeds for you to understand. Uh, what we do is so tableau has this function called rank underscore percentile okay and then it tells you uh, how that how the format or the syntax of the uh, of the function is so uh, right what we do here is we use sum and then within the sum bracket within the brackets of the sum function you can include whichever field that you, it is that you want to collect uh, you know calculate the percentile rank for Okay, so let's say for example, you want to calculate progressive carries. Um, okay, so now Tableau says this calculation is valid, so that's good. Okay, and percentile rank, let me just rename this for progressive carries. Okay, now you can uh, either type this manually again and again, which is, uh, which, which is an option, sure, but uh, what I've just thought of doing is, you know, duplicate. You just, it's easy, easier that way. Okay. So let's um, let's do a attempted triples replacing progressive carries and just rename this percentile rank for attempted dribbles. Okay, and so you know you do all of this. Okay, and then uh, let's uh, let's try to eliminate some of the fields that I am not going to be using. So I've already calculated attempted dribbles and progressive carries. So let me put my next per 90 filter here. Now remember, I'm not using per 90 values in this traffic, so it's easier if you use a larger sample size of minutes of matches played so that, you know, uh, the noise gets evened out. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to remove, remove these fields. Um, you can hide them. Okay, so yeah. Uh, there you go, progressive distance. Hide this and target received touches uh, total distance by carries exceptions all of that you can remove okay so after that what you do is you just drag measure values and 
measure names here okay and then you can you can try play around to here you can add all members if you wish to okay and we're going to calculate it for specific positions so since we're looking at dribbling stats let's just narrow it down to uh, midfielders who are forwards and forwards who are midfielders so essentially attacking midfielders and and wingers let's say okay so yeah we have we have certain uh, we have certain players here this is this is all of the percentile ranks okay uh, not all of the percentile ranks sorry the measure values here okay so these are all the values so like i said earlier you need to remove the the fields that you are not using so that it it you know it doesn't become uh, a laborious thing for you later but yeah i'm going to do that now so that you understand how it works should not take too long and okay you'll see now that we have these two calculated fields or uh, the percentile ranks right and you'll see that um it basically tableau tells us that you know it's in the hundredth percentile okay now this is because tableau is not calculating the percentile with respect to the players right so it's not including the players into the calculation itself so you need to tell tableau to do that so how you can do that is just right click on the uh, percentile measure that you are putting in here click on specific dimensions and click on player okay now you'll see that um, this is reduced for the respective player same for this just do this for every field okay and uh, yeah let's include uh, player on detail and remember the rank field that we created earlier right so that will come useful now and there you go okay so now uh, let's just say you want to look at Jaden Sancho's percentile ranks for these two measures okay so you'll see here he's quite you know he's highly ranking in these two measures so 99th percentile and 96th percentile for progressive carries and attempted dribbles respectively uh, what you can do is if you don't want these all these uh, pro you know problematic decimals what you can just do is um, you know select these two fields okay go to default properties number format and yeah uh, set it as percentage and yeah that's how that will turn out now you can see we see we can clearly see the values as 99th percentile and 97th percentile okay and uh, okay one more thing what you can do is just change the measures here is right click on measure value you go to format and for the axis the scale of the axis you can just change it here to percentage without decimal places so that yeah you can have the proper uh, numbers on the bottom and then you can just change the title to percentile rank okay uh, yeah so this is basically the method of how you can do it okay and this is you can do this for as many fields as you want so i now for now i just focused on how to do uh rather the how of it rather than uh, what it is that you want to do uh so i just click un unchecked show header so that you can just put the player name on top of the title here okay so let me go back to the uh, main workbook okay so now you can see here that this is pretty much the finished product uh on the left here you can see all of the fields that are hidden okay the the ones that are grayed out here these are the fields that are hidden and the ones that are darkened are the ones that are fused here okay in the measure values okay so yeah this is uh this is the one profile of a uh, jeremy boga okay uh it's a swallow uh and you can see here that he you know, ranks quite highly for attempted dribbles progressive carries carries into the penalty area stuff like that okay so uh yeah this is this is one way of doing it you can change the color palette for it i've just selected green to gold because it's it's a nice combination to look at or uh, you can you can change it to say orange gold but that's uh slightly problematic i suppose let's just let's just stick with green and gold yeah cool okay so um one more thing that you can do here is to indicate the median uh percentile this this line here what you can just do is add reference line 
um, under value let it remain measure values and then go to constant and change the value to 0 0.50 so there's already a, a median there which i already uh, inserted earlier so that's not a problem so that's how you can do that and then you can change the, the label as well uh, in, this, in the same dialog box right so if you want the labels to show the percentile ranks you can do that as well or if you don't want to do that you can remove that under the marks card of label here but the next thing to do is i've, I've noticed some people try to include the per 90 values as well so there isn't an uh, easier way to do this uh, that i've seen so far wherein you can just simply just drag and drop them on the label and they'll just show up here sure you can manually label as them label them as well but so the tableau dashboards are all about automation right so the easier your work becomes the better your dashboard looks right uh, so let's try to see how we can automate this process so what i try to do is i just simply created a table okay i, I included the per 90 values of uh, the percentiles that we calculated for so we have progressive passes saved with attempted dribbles attacking penalty area touches uh, progressive carriers carriers into penalty area and volume of touches so as you can see here this is a very simple table it doesn't have the uh, names of the metrics here because i've unchecked uh, you know show header for that so if you want to show that you can see that here so i've unchecked that and yeah what i have here is the exact arrangement of the metrics of the base values of the metrics according to what it is here on the on the percentile you know worksheet so if you have progressive receiving uh, progressive passes received on the top you can have it here as well okay so how you would change the uh, order of those metrics being shown is right click on measure names okay which is essentially the names of the metrics on the left that i have uh, unchecked click on sort and then you can sort them manually or data source order or alphabetically okay so i've manually just sorted them like this okay and that's how that, uh, that's how this has turned up now once you have these two things just put them together on the dashboard okay let me just put this uh, click this together again so generic desktop layout you can use whatever size you you're comfortable with uh, so i'm going with generic desktop layout i dragged and dropped the sheet here and i'm going to drag this one here as well so uh, since you want also want to have space for the filters I, what I suggest is that you have uh, have the second sheet as a floating one okay so that it becomes easier for you and I'll show you how okay so yeah we have uh, we have this here okay so let's say now we drag <clears throat> I'll drag the sheet to here and I've dragged it uh, entire I asked Tablo to show me the entire view and just size it up and proportionately alongside the percentile um, rank dashboard and then you will see here I mean it's 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 not you know it's not ideal but it's probably the closest that you can come to automating this entire thing you can just remove this if you'd like I, I kept it for reference but you can remove it the title and yeah so there you go you have the percentile uh, ranks on the left you have the per, nine, uh, per 90 values or base values base metric values on the on the right and then yeah this is this is your player dashboard now you can use the rank filter here to sort of uh, play around with whichever player you'd like to calculate it for so let's say Jaden Sancho okay for the rank filter here so which applies to this percentile rank worksheet and for the second sheet as well you have uh, another filter here uh, okay okay so what uh, that that's 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 my fault here so what i did was i asked tableau to apply um the the player name to all the worksheets okay so instead of doing that what you want to do is you click on the second worksheet here so this is your second worksheet right you click on leg uh, filters and then it will show you the filter for this that applies to this sheet only okay so if you what i did earlier was that i applied it to the first worksheet which then forced tableau to calculate it for values 
for uh, you know pertaining to Jaden Sancho only. So which uh, you know which showed us the respective values as one 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 one, which is which is only natural, right? So yeah, now you have Jeremy Boga's values here. Let me just type Jaden Sancho, and then there you go. Uh, you can see here the values have changed. Okay, so let's 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 look at someone else. Let's uh, let's try to look at Mkhitaryan, for example. Okay, I'm at Mkhitaryan. Uh, there you go. Oh, one more thing. You can see here the names have dynamically changed, right? So well, how I've done that is it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, so you enter this uh, the player name field within these triangular braces. Okay. So what that does is it tells Tableau that this is you know, a field that is being referenced here, and that will change accordingly to the filter here. Okay. So let's let's say we want to look at Jack Grealish. So Jack Grealish is percentile ranks, and his base values for these dribbling stats. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, another thing, uh, just to do the rest of the you know diligence, your due diligence for data is. To mention your source as always, so data from stats form, like FREF, and you can include that here, wherever you'd like. You can include the logos as well, and yeah, I think I think this is pretty much it. Um, this is your player percentile ranks tableau dashboard, and uh, yeah, uh, have fun with it, and uh, I hope this was easy to follow. Uh, but still, if you have, uh, if, if if you ever feel stuck anywhere, just you know, pause and go back, and I think you'll find it easy enough to follow. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes. Uh, thank you for joining me, and have a nice time. Take care.